Hello, welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of the Grundstock Gun Hauler. Yep, here we go. More Cadron Dwarves. Cadron. Yep. Cadron Dwarves. <laughs> so there is the box. It's another the other one. Mm -hmm. And on the back of the box we have the uh, alternate weapons. We've got the drill bar. A little painting chart. Such like. <laughs> but there we go. Awesome. This is our first of two videos today. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one will be the Thunderers. I want to get the ship together first. Like you did last time, because yeah. you, you like the ships, don't ships you? Are awesome. <laughs> well, they're just so different, aren't they? I can understand why. Mm. Especially for Rage of Sigma. Yeah. Right. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, that's torn it. <laughs> yeah. So we have instructions and well, a single sprue. Well, split in two. Single sprue, there we go. Uh, we have a flying base and we have the base there. Cool. Look at the sprue for this. Yep. Thank good. you. So we have the, the hull there, considerably smaller than the uh, frigate, uh, which I'd show you a comparison, but I'm actually in the middle of painting it. So uh, it's the last, the frigate's like that long compared to that, it's mini. Yeah, this one's like handheld, isn't it? Yes, this is the handheld <laughs> airship. So also we've got two sides making up most of it. And then we have the uh, balloon mm -hmm. part, and that's, that's obviously the upper deck. And we've got fins and everything, and two guys to crew it. So, let's put this part right together. Okay, so here we are, page one of the instructions. And we want parts. Um, where are we here? Yeah. That's a bit weird. This this is where we start. So about one, two, and eleven. And um, this is the fin. So we don't want to glue eleven on. We just want it between the two bits. Uh, then we want parts. Uh, what have we got there? Three, which is the deck. And then we want parts. Um, is that fifty? Fifty and eight. Fifty, eight, and seven. So that's the panel, whatever that bit is, and the steering wheel. The, the wheel there. So we'll get these bits off first and then we'll have a look at them. Okay, so we have the two lower hull sections. Um, these have got little notches there and little bits there so we know where they go. Now it should marry up like that at the bottom. That's where our flying stand's going so I'm going to put plenty of glue in that just to make sure that when the flying stand goes in, it doesn't push that apart and then fall out of the flying stand, which will happen with the frigate actually. I didn't put enough glue around the um, part where the flying stand goes in. But obviously if you do that, make sure it's completely 100% dry before you put the flying stand on. Unless you intend to glue the flying stand on. Uh, which I don't. I intend to paint them separate and then maybe glue them on afterwards. Uh, depending on how strong the bond is. So those two go like that. Oops. There we go. So this bit here we don't want to glue. We do want a little bit of glue on that back bit. But the best thing to do with this is put a minuscule amount and make sure there's plenty of gap there, as in just on the edge. So that when you put this in, it doesn't get glue on it. So I'll probably actually put that on first, put a tiny little glue on the edge of there. Some glue on this side so this bit still rotates back and forth. And then we have the deck, which is just going to go on top of this. We have the control panel, which fits into this bit here. We have the wheel, which goes onto that bit there. And then we have this little MacGuffin bit, which just goes underneath this here, like that. Okay, so I'm going to stick those bits together, and then I'll be back. Okay, so here it is together. First stage of the ship, we got a bit ready to start <laughs> at the back there. So, um, next we have the fins on the side. So, we have five and six and four. We also have the gun parts, which are nine and ten, which is the part of the gun and like the barrel end. And we also have part 14. I'm not sure what part 14 is yet. But these bits, the fins, they're just going to go into these sockets here, like that. Again, like the uh, the frigate, you could magnetise these if you wanted to move them. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm just going to 
uh, tidy these up and then put them on. And then we have this little bit here, which I believe fits into this next to where the uh, captain, driver, pilot, whatever you want to call him, goes. There's two little uh, notches there that fit into those there, and that'll fit on there. The gun part will go into this groove, and then we have this part here, which is part 14. What is part 14? Let's see if I can find it. It looks like uh, the back of the... This looks like where the gun's going to go. Yeah. So it looks like the controls for the gun. Um, there you go. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, it's actually like the loading bit. So it's the back of a cannon. So it's how they load the cannon. That just fits on there. So I'll get these bits tidied up and glued on. And then we'll be back. So this is where we are up to. So next up we want to build the balloon part for the back. And we also want to put the two uh, guys together. So the balloon part is just two halves of a circle. Which go together like that. And then they'll fit into this gap at the back here. And I think it goes in. Uh, maybe the other way around actually. No? Yeah? Yeah, this is the other way around. There we go. So it goes in that way, so that that sort of goes around it. Uh, next up we have part 48, part 47, part 39 and part 46. That's the gunner. We have the pilot or captain. He's part 41, 44, 43, 40 and 45, which is his other arm, which is the... So I'm going to stick these two together and leave them off because I want to paint the guys separate. I'm going to stick that together and put it on and then we shall move on to this next bit which is part 42 which is the other guy's arm uh, by the looks of it. Is that a different arm or is that? No, that, oh, that, that, that 45 him. is the one for the guy sat down. Yeah, and... so I'll need that to go on there now and I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to line it up and let it set before I mm -hmm. move on. And then we have the anchor, which is part 49. So we'll get up to this stage, and then I'll have to leave them to dry for a little bit. So we'll be back in a little while. Okay, so there is the ship so far. There is the uh, pilot. There is the gunner. So I just held these in place, let them dry, so that the, their arms would be in the correct places. So next up we have the two different weapons. We have a sky cannon and we have a drill cannon. So for the sky cannon we need 16 and 15 which make um, the cannon nozzle, mm -hmm. barrel. And then we need these two parts which is 18 and 17 which is there. Uh, which will make the, they go in the back and that's just like the ammunition. The drill cannon has a drill. There we go, no surprises there and like a little case filled with stuff so and that's part 19 and 20 and that's 16 15 18 and 17 there so what i'm going to do and we'll try and magnetize these so i'm going to go away now and have a fiddle around and see what we can come up with and the best way to try and do this so i'll be back in a moment okay so we're back it's actually been it's been a, a few hours <laughs> so um what i've done is uh, I put a magnet into here and actually drill the hole into that back part there. Hopefully you can see that on there. So the first thing I would advise if you intend to um, magnetise these weapons do it first before you stick anything together, before you stick the hole together because it's all hollow. Uh, even this bit's hollow and everything. I should have really looked at that when I was putting it together. But there you go. So what happens when you just follow the uh, instructions through. If you want to drill a hole do it first. That way what you can do, you've got two options, you can fill this bit with green stuff and this bit with green stuff. And then you can just do a pin. Now this bit isn't too bad at the back, I've off-centred it so it's nearer to the edge. And what I've done, I've put a pin into both the uh, the cannonballs and this satchel thing. And what I've done, I've put some green stuff in there. You can see it's not pretty. Well, I could fill it off with green stuff if I wanted, but no one's going to see it once it's on the model anyway. i put a little pin in there. Now that's just going to stick into that hole in the back. As the ship's that way up, it doesn't need any supporting weight at all. What you can do if you've no magnets, 
you could fill this bit with green stuff and drill a hole through there and just put a pin through onto the back of these. Um, as it is though, if you've, if you've already got to the stage where I had where you put it together, this bit's hollow. So if you've got a pin in there, it's just going to wobble about. Uh, so what I've done is I managed to get an exact sized hole and stick in a magnet, if you can see that on there. And then I've done the same on the back of the drill bit, put a magnet in there. There we go. Um, there we go. So it's quite a good fit actually for the drill bit. And I've done the same with the uh, the cannon as well. So there we go. That goes on there. Not quite as good a fit with the cannon. But um, again, if I could have, what I would have done is I would have moved the, the magnet in a bit if I um, filled it with green stuff. Uh, as it is, I've stuck with the way it was. And it's alright, it's turned out quite good actually. And that's solid, it's not going to fall off in the middle of the game. It's going to stay in place. The groove in there actually that you glue it to it keeps it from moving side to side as well. So it's just getting your angle of your magnets right. I think I'm slightly off in the cannon itself because the drill bit is fine. Um, but there we go. So that's where we're up to. Uh, so the next part is to put the bombs on. So the bombs are on this side 26, 25, and 24. Three parts that go together. And then go underneath here. And then on the other side, we have 21, 22, and 23, which go together on that side. And they go underneath the other side, obviously. So what we we'll do, we'll get all these parts off, put them together, put them onto the hull, and then we can have a look at them. Okay, so here are the bombs. So what we have, whoops, is um, a set of little, little, tiny little tabs on there, which uh, go into those slots on there, like so. And then we have a slot on there, whoops, which goes into, got dropsies, which goes into the other side, there, like that. So I'm going to glue those together and we'll have a look at them and then we'll find out where they go on the hull. Okay, so those are the cluster of bombs together there. And if you see on the side of the hull, there's two little notches on that side and there's two little notches on that side. So I would assume they would meet up with the two little notches that are under there, plus that's at an angle. So that's going to go on that side, and this one has a different angle, sort of groove cut into it. The two notches are slightly further back, so that's going to go on that side. So I'll glue them into position, and then we're back uh, to see what's on the next page. All right, so those are the bombs on. There we go. So next we're moving on to the struts. So these are one-piece parts, like unlike the uh, frigate, which was two-piece struts. Um, the connectors on these all seem very different as well. So we have 29 and 28. And they are going to go onto these bits here just behind the wings. Oops. I'm throwing a little bit of it at myself. There we go. So that's going to go on there. And this is going to go on the other side. You see on there there's a little attachment. And that's just going to go on. Uh, so we'll glue them into place. Next up we have all this stuff. So we have 30, we have 31, which are the top two parts of the balloon. There's two halves of a circle by the looks of it. They go like that. No, they go like that, don't they? Yes, there we go. Makes more sense. We have 35, which is a fin, which looks like it fits into this bit. I don't know why that bit's separate. But there are a little, it not, doesn't move, it's not a movable fin. It's gluing into place. And the bottom half, which is part... 34. 34? Oh yeah, it's down here. Right. Part 34 is this bottom part. And we also have where the propellers are on. This is actually attached to the balloon as opposed to the, the ship. So we have 36 and 38. Very similar propeller to the frigate. Uh, and then again on the other side, 37 and 36. Very similar again. We have a propeller that goes on there. Then we have this uh, dwarf face icon, which is 27, which goes into this indentation on the front there. Now these things, they uh, they sit into there like that. So you have to glue this bit together, glue these together, get these in position ready, and then glue the whole thing together into a one big ball, if you will. And then next up, 
we have the reason why I'm showing everything at once. So we'll try and do all this at once because we have this bit here which is 33 and 32. So as you can see that that has snapped quite literally just snapped. There we go. Came off the sprue all right, mm -hmm. but it must be some uh, must have been like a fracture in it or something. Because I just picked it up and there's a bit of stuff I need to clean off it. I didn't put any pressure on it, it just went ting. But these two parts go together to make this X shape. And then that fits between these struts. So what I'm going to have to do is put the struts on and put this bit on together to make sure it fits into place. And then put the ball on together. And then we'll get to this stage, because I don't know whether I'm attaching it or not, I don't know how easy. Uh, it might have to attach this one first because unlike the frigate it doesn't look like there's any like sockets for sitting it in so I might have to attach the whole thing together but it's a smaller model so it's not going to be as difficult to uh, to paint plus the crew are going to be separate anyway so we'll get to this stage and then we'll have a look at it and I can decide from that okay so here is our uh, main hull so this bit here, uh, it goes actually goes in two directions. One's completely wrong, one's completely right. What you've got to make sure is when you put these two bits together that this bit is the widest part because it's thinner there than it is there. Um, so when you come to put it in here, you've got to make sure that it matches up with those sides. If you have it the wrong way around, they'll be about half a centimetre short on both sides. So then just dry fit it first is my advice. And uh, this bit goes together quite easily. There's actually little pegs on these wings. They don't rotate as they are. You could always put magnets on. Same with the propellers. Same with the whole thing, really. You, put, you can magnetise anything. Uh, that is it. So, um, all we need to do now is add it to one of these new funky flight stands, which look cool. And this I'm going to leave separate for, uh, for painting purposes. I'll see if we can get it to balance on it. Oh, there we go. Just about. Just about balances though. So I'll put the ship together and we can have a look at the full thing uh, together. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so there we go. A bit awkward this one because half of it's not together yet. But yeah, hopefully you get the idea from that where this will go together. That's actually fallen off completely. But there we go. <laughs> you can see there are all the guys inside. Uh, the cannon arm, the balls there, the gunner in place, the... I don't know whether he's a pilot or a class to the captain, to be honest. I'll have to find that out. Uh, but he's the steering the thing. So there we go. So I just need two more of these. One well, a frigate. Only two. Thunderers. Yeah. <laughs> and then some Sky Wardens and they come out and I've got the... Uh, the escort wing. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So the other video we're doing today is the Thunderers. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. It helps out loads. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye for now.